In the midst of grief and pain, we're seeing clear signs that our aggressive strategy is saving countless lives. Uh, tremendous progress is being made, although when you look at some of the numbers, I just spoke with Governor Cuomo, we had a good talk. When you look at those numbers, uh, the numbers of death, people that have died, uh, it's so uh, horrible. Now, on the other side, you have the numbers of beds being used, we we're just saying, are substantially reduced. That's usually the sign that it's heading in the downward curve. Uh, so New York, we know where that is. But in the midst of all this grief and this pain, we're seeing these signs, and we're seeing them very strongly. And a lot of that has to do with the aggressive strategy in saving so many lives. We're saving so many lives compared to what it could have been. The situation in Detroit and New Orleans appears to be stabilizing. Uh, Detroit has really started to go up, and now it is stabilizing. And New Orleans is uh, a great place. I have so many friends there, they can't believe what's happening, but it's really stabilized. I spoke with the governor of Louisiana, and as you know, we're building them additional beds right now, the Army Corps of Engineers and FEMA. And uh, that is going to be done, and I hope they're not going to be very well used, because I think they've really uh, — I don't think they're going to need them, or certainly not very many of them. We built them a big hospital of a thousand beds, and now we're — we're in the midst of doing another thousand. I don't think they're going to be using very many of them, and that's a good thing. There was a time two weeks ago when we said that's not going to be nearly enough. We're going to have to build more, but we wanted to wait to see, and I'm glad we waited.